I'm Michael Moranti. Love food, love cooking, love The Sopranos. So I'm combining it all into one vlog series. Welcome to No F and ZD. So what, no fucking ZD now? Hey! hey. No F and ZD episode six. With me is uh, Tom Miale. He's our producer, editor, he does all the things I don't want to do. <laughs> uh, he also makes a really, really mean veal chop, and this week that's what we're doing. Uh, episode six of The Sopranos, Tony and Carm are going to celebrate their anniversary. It's a little awkward, uh, the priest just spent the night at their apartment the week before. Um, Tony asks how the veal is. How's the veal? It's like rubber. Yeah. To me. So we're gonna do um, these monsters, these bone-in, thick-cut veal chops. All right, so this recipe is really simple. Um, basically, it's just a bunch of herbs. So I've got some sage here, I've got some thyme, I've got some parsley, and I've got some rosemary. Where'd the rosemary come from? Rosemary came from the, all of this stuff came from the garden. All of this stuff- From came, his garden. Came right from the garden, and it's all awesome. So, when you're uh, when you're chopping up herbs, make sure, especially with the ones that have little twigs, like thyme and rosemary, make sure you just take the rosemary leaves off, and then we're gonna give all of these a nice, quick chop. So Mike, you, you, you haven't commented on my, uh, on my tracksuit. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's not as good as mine. There we go. We're just giving these a nice, coarse chop. It doesn't really have to be much. Um, you know, it's basically we're making the base of a sauce here. Um, the sauce is going to be this olive oil and all of the juices from the veal after they come off the grill. So we're gonna grill the veal chops, we're gonna put them in the olive oil, and it's gonna create it's this a, awesome sauce. It's a carnivore salsa verde. Sure, why not? All right, so we've got that. I've got some garlic here. We're gonna smash and chop the garlic. So we've got um, our herbs, we've got our garlic here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna put it right into this pan. This little Pyrex, uh, you know, glassware. Little here. guy. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of crushed red pepper and put that in there as well because you don't want this to like burn your face off. No, you just want a little you bit. You just of heat. want a little bit of heat. And, and then, if you don't like heat, it'll be still yeah, delicious without it. Then I've got some some really good. So I've got two different kinds of olive oil here. I've got some really good extra virgin olive oil that's gonna really be the base of my sauce. And then I have this. This is. Um, this is like raw olive oil. Um, Bono is a, a company that makes it here in the States. Um, it's, they import it from Italy, and it's a cold pressed olive oil, so it's like really peppery and good. I'm gonna use this as a finishing oil. But this is the oil for the base of the sauce. So we just pour this in here. Yeah, I mean, I love that. I just love that look of that, you know, with the olive oil and the herbs. Got our veal chops. We're gonna salt them liberally. Yeah. Once these are salted, we're just gonna take them, we're gonna throw them on the grill. Probably, I'd say like five minutes aside. We want them to be medium rare, and then we're gonna just take them and put them back in this sauce over here, and that's when the magic happens. So, let's go grill let's them. Let's go. You can do these in a pan if you want, um, but I do them, I like to do them on a charcoal. I've got, um, I got like an imitation big green egg. It's a Komodo style. It's a Komodo style grill, so it gets really, really hot. So we're just gonna sear the uh, the chops on either side. Um, but this isn't steak. Like steak, I like my steak rare. Veal chops, you gotta cook to like medium rare, just cause they're- It's like ribeye, it's too- Yeah, too, too fatty, mm -hmm. too chewy. You need to have a little bite to it. So you need to cook it a little bit better. So I get it. I sort of turn them a bunch of times to get a good sear, to get good coloring on the outside. Grill them till the internal temperature is around 125, 130. Then what we're gonna do is we take them off the grill, put them in the sauce, and cover them. So what's happening now, 
the chops are resting, all their juices are starting to sort of come back into where they are, like, and, you know, like when you usually rest a piece of meat. And it continues to cook as well. It'll continue to cook and it'll sort of baste itself inside this little oven of herbs and oil that we created and garlic. All right, so it's been probably six or seven minutes that we're letting the chop rest. Um, I think they're probably done. I'm gonna take a little peek and... Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. You can smell good. them as soon they're as you take good. this off. So yeah, take a look at that. See how that nice fat is sort of combined with the olive oil. Spoon some of this on top. I like to finish with a little drizzle of uh, an unfiltered olive oil just gives it a little bit more of a peppery taste. So just a tiny drizzle because this stuff is really potent. Potent. All right, and we're ready to serve them up. Cotoletta Toscana, Ooh, Tuscan fancy. style veal chop. Yeah, I didn't know that you knew Italian. I speak Italian. <laughs> Parlo cibo. Okay, whatever you say. Means I speak food okay. in Italian. <laughs> So uh, follow us on uh, Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to our podcast. It's at Not A Foodie Show. My Instagram, Twitter is at Mike Moranti. And I'm at Timmy Alley. See you next week.